Jaclyn Hill created here on YouTube. Fucking genius. Anyways, um, this is kind of really exciting for me to talk about just because in general I feel like people constantly ask me, so what's your favorite this, so what's your favorite that? Well, bitch, I'm about to sell you everything. Oh, girl. So, to start off, my ride or die primer. I have two. I just, I have to have both of these in my life. So the first one is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And this is a smoothing primer. I don't know what happened with my genetics, but my pores, like right in here, are just the size of fucking Neptune. So I need a solid primer to help fill in those vaginalist pores. I love this stuff. It's it's a matte finish, so for oily girls like me, this is amazing. And then my Rider Diet primer that I just I can't live without is my Marc Jacobs Coconut or what's it called? Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. This shit is amazing. I think everyone needs this in their life. Like, yes, price point wise, it might not be ideal for everyone. I have a lot of girls that like ask me, how does your makeup stay on all day? Um, like, what do you do? Honey, primer is, primer is the secret. Your foundation needs something to stick to. You just put it on your skin, it's gonna come right off. So, if you are in the market for a really awesome hydrating primer, that feels like you're literally flying to Hawaii and peeling a coconut and putting that shit on your face. This is for you. So now on to foundation. I had to choose two only because one I've been using forever now and has been my go-to foundation, but I just recently discovered a different foundation and oh my sweet Jesus. So the first one, it is the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. I thought it was called something else. Okay, anyways, this is a supercharged foundation, the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel. Um, I think these are like almost out, and I've bought like four of these already. But this foundation is literally incredible. Like, your skin will look like, I don't even know, a baby's ass. Like, you will, it's so flawless. You, your pores disappear. Um, your skin just looks so damn good in this. But I must say, so a different foundation that I just recently, you know, didn't, I guess recently discovered because it just came out, is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Lasting Foundation. Oh my God, where has this been all my life? Let me just say something. Let me tell y'all a little secret. So one day, I did my makeup just for, because I wanted to, and a friend called me and said, you know, let's go hiking, and I was like, I mean, I just have a full face be of makeup, I mean, eyelashes and everything, but okay, let's do it. And I had this foundation on, and maybe I'll pop in a little video from Snapchat, but literally, I went hiking. I wore this for over eight hours and holy shit, I still had a beat face at the end of this hike. And that wasn't really the easiest hike. We were in Boulder, Colorado and this is a ride or die shit. I mean, this really stuck with me. So I'm obsessed with this. It is definitely a full coverage. I usually tend to go for more like medium coverage because I don't like my skin looking like super cakey or anything, but this, I don't, there's something about it, it goes on so, like, light and fluffy, you don't feel like you're just, it's not like a MAC, um, Studio Fix foundation where you just, like, you can feel the foundation sitting on your skin, like, this is a full coverage foundation, and it is amazing balls, okay? Favorite bronzer of all time, my best friend put me on to this, shout out to the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. Hi. This bronzer is seriously 
this will complete your look. It It is so, so, so beautiful. Like, I swear to God, when I used hers for the first time, I was like, why didn't I buy this years ago? It is so, so amazing, and I think it looks really great on all different types of skin tones. I've used it when I'm tanner, and I've used it when I'm lighter, and it just is the most flawless and amazing bronzer ever. Oh my god, I forgot concealer. Okay, my ride or die concealer, y'all. First of all, there's something about concealer. I, like, fucking hate concealer. I don't know what it is. I just, like, I don't like concealer. Like, I don't know if it's because every concealer that I ever tried, like, right here, like, under my eyeballs, um, cracks, like, really bad, even when I set it right away. But, finally, I found a, found, or a concealer that I really like, and it's the Born This Way by Too Faced um, Naturally Radiant Concealer. This stuff is amazing. Honestly, I don't get too much crackage, is that what you call it? Under, right in here, this area, so I'm loving it. Ride or die. My ride or die face powder, under eye, setting, whatever the hell you want to call it. This stuff, Laura Mercier translucent powder is the shit. I literally tell everyone they need this in their life. I made my grandmother buy it. Well, I actually bought it for her, but I made my grandma have this in her makeup collection because all she uses is Estee Lauder. I'm like, Grandma, I don't even call her Grandma, I call her Bachan. That's what we call her grandmas in, um, in Japanese. But I was like, you need this. Like, your face, I mean, it's cool, but you need a good, you know, setting powder. And I put her on this and she absolutely loves it. So, hey. So my favorite contouring palettes, both of them are by Anastasia Beverly Hills. The cream and the shadow contour. In the cream, I use the light contour palette and in the powders, I use the light to me. I have Hip Pan. The banana powder is incredible. And then I use, I think it's called Java. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called Java. Yeah, this color right in the middle. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And of course, cream contour to put under the powder. This has been a staple in my collection, basically, since ever. I obviously could not choose an eyeshadow in particular that I loved, but I did choose my favorite eyeshadow palette, and I just cannot stray. I've tried so many different things, and I cannot stray away from this powder. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. Oh my sweet Jesus, sorry, it lines so messy, and I've hit pan on so many of these, but this palette is seriously in, like, it's just so versatile, like, let me just break it under there. It has, like, Morocco is my favorite transition shade, this one. I use it, I think, every day. But it's just, I don't know, you can do a lot of different looks with this, and for some reason, I just, like, can't stray away from this palette. It is my fave. So, <laughs> oh, my, oh my god, that looks so cool. My ride or die highlighter, obviously, is the Becca Cosmetics collab with Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. So funny because my best friend was in town a few months ago, and she, for whatever reason, had not used Champagne Pop yet, and I had just, you know, the regular original champagne pop that came in the um, regular Becca compactor and she, I was like girl like are you crazy I was like well now that I have this beautiful baby and it has champagne pop in it I gave her my original champagne pop because <laughs> she needed it in her life I mean it's just it was necessary so that's the story behind that that's why I use it out of here now whatever it's the same damn thing but yes champagne pop Everyone, if you don't have champagne pop in your life, you ain't doing it right, girl. Oh, and by the way, my favorite brush to use for my highlighter is the Morphe M501 brush. It is perfect. Gets it right where you want it. Super easy. I usually, usually use a really light hand to apply it, and yeah. 
my favorite brow products, let's be honest. Obviously, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mean, all her shit just wins my heart over. I love ABH. Honestly, y'all, the price point for ABH is incredible. Like, $18 for this dip brow, this usually will last me minimum three months. And I use it every single day. Um, it is incredible, incredible, incredible product. I also use the number seven brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills to apply the dip brow. And then, anyways, she came out with the brow definer and this thing, I mean, your brow game will go from zero to a thousand real fucking quick. This thing is amazing. It has like a, I don't even see, but it has like a diagonal, what am I doing? Y'all know what this shit is. This brow definer is amazing. Y'all need it in your life. It will take... If you want your brows to be on a fleet, girl, you need this in your life, you need this in your life, and you will be good. So, I am obsessed with NYX lip liners. Like, that's literally all I use. Yes, I use MAC and all those other ones, but I don't... I just... I love NYX. You can't go wrong with it. It's so cheap. I mean, these are my two favorite colors, Nude Truffle and Nude Beige. I use these almost every day to align my lips. Um, I am obsessed with this product. I think it's amazing. It does the job. And my all time, y'all, this was so, this was and wasn't difficult for me just because I've loved this product ever since I laid my lips it but my favorite liquid lip of all time my ride or die baby is dose of colors stone oh my god i have it on today with my favorite lip gloss of all time which is also nyx and this is in creme brulee so all you gotta do girl if you want this lip is get yourself this pencil i use the new truffle with this it's a little bit of the darker nude color so i line my lips all of all of it Okay, and then you put on your liquid lipstick, the Dose of Color Stone, and then you put on your gloss over it. Voila, you got some juicy lips. I really wanted to talk about this product. This is for all my oily girls out there. When you are at the club, girlfriend, and your face is looking like you could take a sled and jump off that shit. You need this Blatterazzi. So this is by the brand that makes the beauty blenders, okay? Comes in this cute little case. And it's like a flat beauty blender. But this thing blots out all the oil in your face. Like, it is seriously, this is a game changer. This right here is a game changer. It takes all the makeup, or not the makeup, God forbid. It takes all the oils off your face, all the natural oils that come through and push through your foundation. Um, takes it all away and it kind of like refinishes your foundation for you so this is like an absolute mess if you're oily like me and girl I am a greasy ball mess I think it's just part of my genetics being Asian we have oily to have oily skin this thing is a life savior so I highly recommend all my girls out there that are oily get your hands on this thing it's amazing um Okay, and last but not least, I'm so sad. I just moved yesterday, so I kind of don't know where like all my stuff is right now. Rude. So I had to talk about my favorite perfume, obviously, and it is the Giorgio Armani C. I'll just like pop a little bottle, you know, right here so you guys can see. It, oh my God, it is so amazing. You can wear it during the day, you can wear it at night. It's so sexy, it's like my scent. It's so funny, because people are like, oh my God, you always smell like that, I'm like, yeah, girl. You need it in your life. So yeah, I think without further ado, that covers my ride or die products as of right now maybe we should do this again like in six months or something and see if anything has changed well i hope everyone is having an incredible day thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe follow me on ig facebook snapchat twitter you know the drill y'all have a good day guys and stay tuned i have more videos coming soon bye